Hey everybody, Jamin here from Game Show. Got a quick note for you all this week. Um, you probably saw the announcement yesterday at uh, Microsoft's event. It's kind of been all over the uh, sort of the tech blogs and whatnot. That Microsoft announced uh, basically a, a headset called Hololens, which would uh, allow people to not necessarily like, see holograms the way you might think about it in something like Minority Report, um, but be more like augmented reality. So you'd be able to do different things, engage in like a Skype conversation, for example, or uh, one of the examples they used was to allow allow uh, different people at NASA to collaborate um, in an environment, so to sort of project themselves on a foreign place like Mars, for example. Um, there's two particular things I think is interesting about the, about the HoloLens. I'd love to hear more about what you all think as well. Um, I think the first is that um, I'm excited about sort of the level of experimentation that's been happening um, that's sort of informed by the world of games, but is not uh, necessarily tied to it. Um, that they're, you know, a company like Microsoft is taking some chances in terms of trying to put out technologies that are going to change the way that we sort of like interact with devices. And it's cool it's coming from a place like Microsoft um, as opposed to, I don't know, maybe like a television manufacturer or something like that. Um, I think that, you know, a lot of people obviously had some big problems with the Kinect and uh, I'm sure Microsoft wasn't quite as happy as they would have liked to have been in terms of like what the Kinect was able to do. Regardless, I think it does point to this uh, really cool future that's being outlined um, by companies like Microsoft, um, one in which you're able to sort of occupy several different spaces at once and you know frankly I wonder if this will serve as a nice middle ground between the complete immersiveness of something like virtual reality which blocks out the outside world entirely and sort of this is a more but it all sits between sort of virtual reality and then also Google Glass in the sense that it's more immersive than Google Glass in the sense that you're able to see more um, sort of in your field of view but it doesn't block off everything um, so I, I'm, I think that that's one cool aspect of it I think the second um, thing that's really cool is that Microsoft presented this initially with several different um, tangible commercial applications. Um, I think one of the things, one of the sort of the failings of the Kinect was that a lot of the applications that would have been used for it um, weren't just in the world of games. I mean, my first encounter with the Kinect was purely inside of a games context. And this is something actually, you know, um, you know, years ago when people were starting to like hack the Wiimote, for example, that was something that I thought was going to happen. Oh, Nintendo has an opportunity to sell a standalone controller as something that can be used for all types of things that are not related to games. Um, so I think one of the really fascinating things about the Hollands is that they're showing that, you know, on the one hand, you could do something like um, sort of create a Minecraft like universe um, in your living room, but it also can be used for, you know, to get directions from a, from a plumber who's on the other side of the planet. So I think that was very smart in terms of showing people the wide array of different types of experiences that could be used for this technology and not just the ones that are related to games. But again, I'd love to know what you all think. Um, so please let me know, hash it out in the comments, and I'll see you all again in a bit.